In the next few videos, you'll learn how to interact with DMS from within SAP Build Apps. But first, you have to set up Build Apps to recognize DMS. Step one is adding a few properties to the destination you already set up for working with DMS and SAP Build Process Automation. You'll need to add Build Apps Enabled, HTML5 Dynamic Destination, and Mobile Enabled and make them all true. And then add Build Apps API Type and set it to REST. Step two is adding the destination to the app. Under Integrations, click Add Integration and then BTP Destination. You should see the DMS destination you created for process automation under the REST endpoints. Click it and then click Install Integration. That's all you need to start to connect to DMS. But it would be nice to have the response schema for most of the DMS API calls. So step three is defining a data entity where we can define the response schema. Click Add REST API Data Entity, name the entity root, and click Add. You may get an error message, just click OK. Now, under List, make sure the Response Mapper has Response Data Objects and not just Response Data. This change should happen automatically, but if not, you need to make it. The Response Mapper modifies the response, so we are left with a list of objects. The DMS API returns a list, but it's inside another object. Run Test and you will see the JSON response for the documents in the root folder. Click Auto Detect Fields from the response so that the schema is preserved. We can now create variables with this proper schema, making choosing fields in the formula editor that much easier. Under Variables, create a data variable based on root, open up the logic canvas, and delete the flow functions for retrieving the data. Now we have a variable with the proper schema, which we will see later when we use it in the formula editor.